follow me around for the week of October 10th, 2022. We're wasting time. <laughs> Hello hotties, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Allie Mack and I'm currently a seventh grade math teacher. Now you might be wondering why I'm wearing the mask. One person in my family has COVID. So we're gonna get an official test today after school. So I figure since the new policies are that even if you have a family member in the house with COVID, you can still come to work. I'll at least wear this to protect my colleagues and students. Anyway, this is just a weekly vlog, and I hope you'll stick around and watch it. Oh, oh, I'm ready when you are. Hello, everyone. This is a pre-week preview. I don't know what I'm saying, and I was sitting there thinking, today is Sunday, today is the day that I do my beauty rituals, such as doing my nails, doing my toenails, all that stuff. And I was sitting there thinking, man, I'm tired of this long, straight hair. And I was thinking, how cool would it be if I had some layers? I was like, maybe it's time to do the ponytail on the front and cut. And then I came across this lovely video. And I was like, oh my goodness, that is just what I am looking for. So let us see what we do. He says that you must wet your hair first. So I'm gonna wet my hair. Maybe I should use the bathtub. Did I mention I have really long, thick hair? Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, so Brad says that we need to put it in two ponytails. One at the apex of our hair and one in the back. So let me see if I can find a comb. Because that's another thing we need. Perfect. Let me try this a different way. This is gonna take some time. No, he said unicorn in the front, pony in the back. I hope I don't mess up my beautiful hair. I kind of have a front bun like that. What y'all think? No? Okay, well. All right, moment of truth. He says you can use two fingers to measure about an inch. So I'm gonna do four inches, so.
One of my very brilliant colleagues said, I am not working for 100 students. I have 100 students working for me. And I'm trying out this strategy and it is working beautifully. But it's only been one class, so I'll let you know how it goes the rest of the time. just finished my remediation group, it went well, and I am loving this eyeshadow. I literally put a gold on and then a red and then pink up top. And I really like the way it turned out. And by the way, I'm telling you this so I won't forget later. So I got chosen to dance with a cheerleader in tomorrow's pep rally. So basically, after I run on my errands, I've got to go home and learn this short little dance. Let me show you. You might have seen it on TikTok. Wish me luck. I'm scared, y'all. Oh, also, today was the very first day that every single student that came to my class completed the I Ready lesson that I assigned them that was on grade level. I'm, I'm so happy about it. Never happened before. When I got home last night, I pretty much went straight to sleep. I don't know why I've been so tired lately, but I'm gonna try to learn this dance between now and seventh period. And I've been supervising kids making posters. I'll tell you about that activity a little later. So this is how the dance goes. You start out squatting and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squat. Did you get it? I didn't think so. Keep practicing. One, two, three, four, I was at five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. steps. People said they didn't notice, but I had it and now I don't have it. Or I didn't have it. Have you subscribed yet? Please? If you've made it this far, you should just go ahead. You know.
My husband just texted me and told me that my son has fever. He stayed home today because he had a sore throat. I hope it's nothing more than a cold. So my son has COVID and I am going to wear this mask to protect my colleagues and students. Sucks, but what do you do? Let me tell you about the activity. Ah, uh, my teeth are black from eating a black cupcake. So just ignore that. But the activity we did was I gave everyone the family letter and I ready. They had to create a mini poster teaching someone how to solve problems using scale factor and scale drawings. So once they made the mini version of it on white copy paper, I gave everybody in the group sticky notes and they had to go around to all the groups that were not theirs. They had to give them one glow and one grow. The glow was what they liked about it specifically. I liked how you, the example you used, it helped me understand. And when grow would might be write more legibly, use your time wisely, just something constructive that they could use to make their final product. Okay, so then we did an I ready lesson on it and we learned a little bit more about scale factor. And then I had them make a big anchor chart. And so therefore they did that. They were judging and analyzing other people's work, then going back and taking feedback and creating their own. Then we put the posters in the hall. So that's the activity. Ooh, I can't get over this, but oh well, I've been wearing a mask today anyway. <laughs> All right. That is it for this video. If you found it helpful, informative, or even entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below the mask emoji. And as always, you all have the best day ever, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.